Welcome to the installation video for the NetApp FAS and AFA management pack for vRealize operations. In this session, we will be reviewing the following. System compatibility. Creating a least privileged user. Installing the management pack on vRealize operations. And configuring the adapter instance in vRealize operations. So let's first go to look at the documentation for the product. So we're going to want to go to docs.vmware.com and we're going to search for True Visibility Suite Documentation. We'll go ahead and we'll select that top link there. And then on the left, we're going to want to search for the management pack for NetApp, FAS, and AFA. Once we select that, we're going to look for system requirements on the left. And then when we select that, we can see the compatibility for vRealize operations, the NetApp ACOM and Occam versions that are supported, the default ports, and then the least privileged user. So we'll need to create an account that has a role of operator, storage administrator, or on-command administrator. So let's create a least privileged user. So we'll need to log into the NetApp Active IQ Unified Manager. Once we log in, we're going to want to go up to the right side there at the top. There's a gearbox for settings. We'll select that. And then on the left under management, we'll select users. We'll go ahead and we'll hit the plus add. And then we can begin to add our user. So we we'll want a local user. We're going to create the name of test1. We'll put in our password. We'll confirm our password. Associate an email address. And then create a role. So again, all three roles work. We'll select operator. And then we'll go ahead and we'll click add. Once added is successful, we'll go ahead and we'll see the role in there. So we see test one. It is a local user, the associated email address, and the role of operator. So let's configure the management pack in vRealize operations. So we're going to want to go ahead and log into our console. We'll want to do that as admin or a role associated with admin. And then we can go ahead and we can click log in. We want to select administration at the top. And then on the left, we're going to want to select repository. We we'll want to have the pack file downloaded prior to this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll down. And we're going to select add upgrade. And we'll go ahead and we'll browse and look for that pack file. So we're going to want to search for the NetApp management pack pack file. We'll select that and click open. The two tabs below uh, are for upgrades and not anything that we're going to need to do here. So we're going to go ahead and skip those and we're going to hit upload. And we can hit next. We'll agree to the EULA, hit next. And the installation should begin. And we'll give it here a few minutes. Now that it's finished, we can hit finished and we can begin to add the account and configure it. So we're going to go to other account. We'll hit add account. We're going to want to search for that NetApp FAS and AFA icon. There we go. And we're going to go and add a name that's arbitrary. So we'll put in NetApp DC1. We're going to want to put the AIQUM host name or IP address. And then we're going to want to add our credentials. Credential name is arbitrary, so NetApp creds. Username that we created, so test1. And then we're going to want to put that password that we uh, associated with that test1 account. We'll select OK. Now we can go ahead and validate the connection. And we see that the test connection is successful. Hit OK. Now we can look at advanced settings. So in advanced settings, if you're running a different port than the default, you can go ahead and select that. If you're doing any type of SSL configurations, you can go ahead and work with those. 
Um, the management pack does have the ability to turn off various resources from collection. And then lastly, we want to keep the, the uh, support auto discovery as true. That'll create the internal and external relationships. So now we can see the account was added. It is in a state of warning with the status of none. That's okay, a full collection just hasn't happened. We'll give it a second here and refresh. And then we see that the status is okay. So that's exactly what we would wanna see. If you have any questions, please reach out to your VMware representative.